Hello everybody, it is a uh, Sam again, uh, the train main, my pumpas and dumpas. Um, I'm coming at you with a different style of video today. Um, I've had this Bachman Easy Command, I bought it brand new for about two weeks now, running it every day. So I wanted to do a little maybe four or five minute review on it and uh, the functions and whatnot that it has. Um, it is DCC, obviously you can see 1 through 10, which would be the digital addresses you would assign your individual locomotives um, again if you did not know you will have to get locomotives equipped with DCC decoders or install them yourself um, I have a GP7, GP9 and Alco RS3 here uh, they are all Atlas or Bachman and they are DCC equipped meaning they are freshly compatible with these units um, you can run uh, DC units too, like these old Chessies and Burlington's I have here, but they make a whining noise because of the current, the way it's pulsed through on these motors. Um, if you're not careful with them, you can burn them out. I suggest not even running them at all. And uh, if you're going to run one, which would be on channel 10 on here, set for DC analog only, um, never run more than one. Uh, I would definitely not recommend that. Um, so first off, uh, if you're running Bachman Easy Track, which is what I have at least for my terminal right now, um, comes with the same wires to the track and to the AC power wall unit. Um, and then you feed it into your power track supply just like there. Um, so that's very, very simple. Uh, this is what I was using before. Just a basic 1 amp Bachman uh, comes with every train set unit, but it gets the job done for these smaller layouts. Um, so again, I have it uh, wired up to my track. Um, at these locomotives now, any brand new locomotive with a DCC decoder is going to come set either to the engine number or channel 3. Um, so I've already changed the digital address of some of these, but uh, if you look over here, when I press number 3, that'll assign the locomotive. And I give it power now, do the ALCO. So Alco is number three. Um, I have the Pennsylvania Jeep set at number two. Actually, that's the Canadian Pacific. So I have that one cruising along on number two. So number two, number three. And then number four actually is the Pennsylvania sitting back there on the siding. We'll change the direction, we'll pull him up too. So as you can see, I have three different locomotives, all on different channels, two, three, and four, and they're independently controlled. So I can go back to number two and we'll back him into his siding. Go back to number three, do the same thing, back him into his siding. If he wants to get over this frog here, there he goes. Oh man. And the same with number four. I'm sorry it's not on the main lines and everything, I just wanted to be able to show you guys multiple locomotives at a time. Change the direction of each one with a button. So yeah, it's very simple. Um, you can obviously control the trains independently at any time on your main lines or in your yards, wherever you need to be. Um, the function button is another cool thing. All these locomotives just have uh, light functions, no sound or um, any magnetic couplers or anything like that. But uh, we go on to number four that would be the Pennsylvania the black Jeep right there in the middle and then we hit function on these uh, you look at the instructions that come with each locomotive function number 10 on this one is a light function so let me hear I'm gonna hit number 10 and the light pops on and then number one is to dim the light or make it bright so if you guys can see that up close so it's another cool little thing. Like I said, some of them come with sound and whatnot. You'll just have to pick and choose based on what you want. Um, but it's very nice. So let's uh, get number two rolling out on its own. And then we'll get number three rolling. Oh man, these frogs aren't laid down. That's why it's uh, not drawing power very well. Then we'll get number four rolling out on his own. And then we will reverse them both. And I just did all that by switching the channel real quick. You can also program, for instance, 
I could put this locomotive on the same channel as this locomotive. Therefore, that would uh, uh, give them both the same power and frequency. This frog power problems every time. Um, you could give them both the same frequency um, and run them in tandem or however you want to do any of that. Um, yeah, and so just wanted to show you guys how it operates in case you're deciding to take the plunge like I did. It's not as complicated as it seems. You just need the locomotives and uh, probably about 15 minutes to watch a video like this or the Bachman tutorials that they do have on YouTube, which is what I watched, and uh, they guide you through every step. Um, so yeah, uh, any questions, comments, subscribe, like, please, leave it all below. I'll respond, I'll subscribe back, blah, 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 and uh, let me know if you like it. Uh, I, like I said, I've had it for about two weeks now, and it is everything I was looking for on my 4x7 layout to run, you know, four, five, six trains at a time. So thank you guys again, and uh, subscribe.